Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Daddy! Hi, you kid, What are you doing? What's going on? I knew it! That's why I asked you! Hi, baby kid. Hi! Hi! Oh, I'm excited. And we got one more! We're Nana, where is she? What's going on? Tell you a little bit about what I do, and then I'll just kind of open it up for questions. And some things I might be able to answer, some things I might not be able to. Uh, this was my third tour, and uh, first two was in Iraq, and then this this one that I'm on now. Uh, I'm at what I call the Tan Candy Land because uh, I don't have to worry about getting shot. Uh, I go to work from eight to. From 08 to about 1700, 1800 every day. And uh, I'm the S4, logistics officer for our, bata uh, for our group. Uh, I'm part of the 1108 TASM G Theater Aviation Sustainable Maintenance Group. And what our guys do is they provide aviation maintenance to the theater. We are a theater asset. And honestly, uh, I'm a major. And I'm, I'm actually like a private first class over there because there's a major running out the Wazoo. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was sitting in the uh, chow hall, I guess it was Thursday, and I counted 49 06s. And an 06 is a full bird term, 49 of them. And that, that just don't happen very often. But uh, where I sit, I actually work for a full bird colonel, and he works for a one star general. But uh, so we've got a sale in Kuwait, there's about uh, 77 of us in Kuwait, no I'm sorry, 85 of us in Kuwait and 77 in Afghanistan. And I uh, told my wife Naomi yesterday, when I get back, I'll be home for two weeks and then I'm going to make a trip to Afghanistan and do a battlefield circulation to the three detachments that we have there. 
And what my job is, is again, our guys do theater aviation sustainment on helicopters. All models. The Black Hawk, the Chinook, the Apache, the Kyle Warrior, and uh, but <clears throat> we are a theater um, theater asset, <coughs> meaning that Colonel Berry, who works for General Adu, who is the AMC, Army Material Command, Southwest Asia Commander, when she tells him, I need this, our boys jump. And that's what we do. Uh, I've never been at the level that I'm at now. I've got, uh, I've got. New tonight, one local woman had no idea her husband was coming home early from serving overseas on his fourth tour. But we did. Watch who's Talitha Vickers was there for this fantastic moment. I was holding my breath for this one because Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone set up a plan to surprise his wife at the very hospital where she works by posing as a trauma patient. Not your typical homecoming, but I tell you what, he set up this plan and pulled it off to perfection, leaving everyone in tears. U.S. Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone didn't waste a moment after stepping off an international flight from Germany geared up for a surprise mission to catch his wife off guard on the job inside the ER at Holmes Regional Medical Center. Uh, the night before, I didn't really sleep because I was excited about coming home, so uh, of course, uh, just can't wait to see her. Up on a hospital bed and under the sheets, Sergeant Nardone waits for his wife, who's an ultrasound tech. They haven't seen each other for seven months, and she's got no idea that her husband's tour of duty ended earlier than expected. All she knows is that a patient is waiting for an emergency procedure. And like her husband, she's ready to serve. But then... Uh, Mark I'm really happy. I'm really shocked. I wasn't expecting it at all. The tearful homecoming mission is complete, and the family, including their four-year-old Isabella and 22-month-old William, will be reunited. What do you think the kids are going to say when they see you, Daddy? They're, they're going to, well, that's going to be a whole nother, whole nother thing, because they're probably going to be asleep by the time we get home. But I'm usually not good at surprises, so I, I think this was a little bit better. So uh, everybody got involved, and uh, really... Uh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you all. Yes. Quite an embrace. Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone was not supposed to return home until August 20th. He has been deployed four times since getting married to his wife, Leah, in 2006. But he says this was hands down by far the best homecoming salute that he has ever been able to give his wife. Reporting from Brevard, Talitha Vickers, West 2 News. Job well done. Mission accomplished right there.
Oh, great and mighty Commander Bird, where are you? Not here. Okay, say surprise.
Ready? Surprise! <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? No. <laughs> What's up? How long are you gonna be here for? Tell him. You know how long, Joseph? Oh, I love it. <laughs>